The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here, Tiger Technicians Hour, and we're looking at the Dow down 82, S&P's down, uh, is that six? Yep, down six. This is going to be very interesting. Why? Because in the webinar I did last night, I was demonstrating certain tools, technical tools, that suggest that unless there's a vicious change in trend, certain uh, technical tools will remain in place until they are forced to change direction. And if you try to um, and over anticipate, there's a chance that um, it's not so much that you'll be wrong, but it could be a situation where <clears throat> it becomes confusing because you thought that you were going to be correct, but you were misjudging the strength or the weakness. And um, just for an example right here, see, here's the TLT. Every time the TLT is bounced, the, the bonds have bounced, there's been a failure. This time what we're looking at if I use the MACD, the MACD, the moving average convergence uh, divergence, shows you that the green nine period differential, the faster moving average, is way above the red, slow moving average. When it ran up before, yeah, it crossed positive, but it was an embarrassing, it was it deflected lower immediately. Then it made this W pattern. I love those W patterns. And that says to me that we can't dismiss the fact that this trend line here, you see this dash trend line? We're now above it. Now, I have a thing about trend lines. I've been drawing them ever since I ever started charting. I used to have uh, um, hand charts. I used to pencil in uh, on, on graph paper, engineering paper, the charts. I have a little ruler, and I just draw these little transparent plastic ruler, six-inch ruler. <laughs> then I had to get a 12-inch ruler when the Dow went up into the 27, 2700s. Now it's in the 27,000s. Um, so what I like to say is that a trend line is an important visual um, representation of a potential resistance or support. But once the price has gone above it, it doesn't mean to say, hey, wait a minute, that's fantastic, we've now broken out. No, it means for the moment we've broken out, yeah, because we're above it. But the real break has to come with technicals. Uh, you've got to have some verification. You've got to have other things. Look what happened when we went so sharply higher in the bonds, when they went 136.54, the TLT on the 13th of September. And then by the, uh, what was that? It was like 1st of October, I believe it was the 1st. Yeah, on the 4th, 4th of October, it's streaming at 146, 10 points higher, and then it fails. Well, the MACD did turn around, stochastic did turn around, except the stochastic didn't hold for very long above 80%, it went under it. So these are some of the techniques we were looking at last night. What I wanted to say is that in the arena of bonds, the TLT or the continuous contract US, let me just show you this right now, there have been some very positive div developments over the last five, six sessions. That hasn't yet translated into positive in the weekly. It hasn't affected the positives in the monthly, these little negatives. So trying to put the picture together, one of the reasons why I'd love to look at three time frames is, look, in the daily chart, it's a downtrend with a little bit of an uptrend, maybe even a short-term buy signal, not a buy mode, but a buy signal. I don't yet have any guarantees that the buy signal will go to a buy mode, meaning it goes to at least the four higher peaks, peak D. Hey, wait a minute. The weekly chart has made the dreaded H pattern. We spent some time on that yesterday, and we're going for lower highs and lower lows. 
So until you see a really good move into the 162 area and we're at 159, let's call it 160 right now. So until we're at 162, that MACD is not going to flatten out, and that stochastic at 29% is not going to turn up. It's going to take the shorter-term daily chart to do that. And the monthly chart, well, it's still looking very good. Look, it's a cup formation potentially making a handle, a cup and a handle, because the MACD is very strong, stochastic still at 87%. So that's some, some, some of the things. That if there's still time. If you want to, it'll be archived today, my webinar from last night. For subscribers, if you're interested, I believe I've got a, quite a few emails uh, um, just thanking me for a, a outlining and then going very specifically into so many important technical tools that are available to everyone. It's not like um, these are very special things. They're just available on any software package. It's how you use them that's so important. Okay, let's move on now. I want to do this really quickly because I've got a lot of questions. I also want to talk about Roku. So start, I, I don't want to just talk about Roku, which is up $4 at 158 I want to talk about it because quite a few people have spoken to me about it, or at least emailed me, and I've been emailing back. And a couple of people in particular were on the wrong side of Roku, have got out of that, and are now looking at it. And the, what they talk about, I don't even care about anything else. What I really care about is the fact that I've always said, and for subscribers, they know it, I do not hang around for anything that's not working. I'm out. If I miss a stock that we've had many that have gone from one level that we entered and we got stopped out for a 1.5% loss or maybe 2%, and then it goes up 12%, hey, we've got others that have worked. I don't want the 20% pullback or more that just sits on my head and I feel it for subscribers and I'm saying, oh my God, you know, give. some poor person is putting a little money to work, going off to work, they come back and they've taken this big hit and they, then the next day it goes lower and it goes lower or, or a fund manager is looking at something and saying, whoa, 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 this is messing up my whole year. I don't want that. Now, that's just my thing. Others say, you know, if I'm going to put a 10% stop, a big stop in, how are you going to get those gains? You know, you take three ten percent here, it says thirty percent. Um, I just don't like that. I just I can't do it. Now, if you if you love the analysis and you think, okay, I'm prepared to take a bigger stop, that's different. That's your own thing, and you could be well rewarded. I just can't do it. So I'm going to talk about Roku in a moment. Let me just run these through because I want to explain how all these peak E's and F's. It's a peak F in the Dow. Uh, down 72, but this is the first day of the turn. It hit 28090, 28,090. The MACD is only turning down. It's still fabulous on balance volume. Uh, did give the clue to me for the last few days um, that there was something going on just in terms of overhead resistance. That's called overhead resistance. And because of it, it tells me that there's going to be more potential for a downside move, not maybe not steep, but a downside move rather than upside at this particular time. Look, the weekly chart just bumped into resistance, and the monthly chart is in leg D. That's you know that's okay, but it's right now short term that I think we've got a little bit of a problem. So you've got the Dow at peak C, you've got the S&P, sorry, at peak F, you've got the S&P at peak F, you've got the QQQ at peak F. Look at that. Oops, one, two, three, there it is. And the IWM made it be careful. Ah, be a little careful here. I'll if you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So last night we were talking about a pattern that I call the Chapway Falling Axe Formation. Uh, what is that? Let me just jump to that. Actually, I wasn't even going to do that now, but since I mentioned uh, falling axe, uh, I may as well show this. This is uh, the falling axe. You, you see a low bar and you keep going higher. A, B, C, D, P, D, it even goes to an E. And all of a sudden, it starts to decline and it makes lower highs and much lower lows. What happens is if there's a sudden turn and the technical start to improve and it makes either a V or a cup shape formation, usually the V formation is more powerful and it gets to the downtrend line. If it pierces that downtrend line, immediately start looking to the left for each successively higher peak. And if it takes out the peak that started the whole down move, in this case at one uh, on Roku, at 151.48 to 151.30 the next day, uh, Chapman Wave 2 bar reversal. If it goes over the 151 area quite sharply, it says, great, you could potentially have a one-to-one -one extension to the upside. Well, it didn't quite make it, but it was really close. It went to 165.10, then it pulled back. So um, well, how did I get into that pattern? Why did I even talk about the falling affirmation? Uh <laughs> Well, it's one of the things we were talking about last night. Anyway, now stochastic, stochastics at 88% and the MACD is good. You did get an M-shaped pattern in the uh, in the MACD, and it says, yep, there's a little bit of resistance, but you're going to have to wait to get above 165.10 to start leg B. But I may as well do this right now. So a number of people have asked me about it. Some people had options on it. Some people were long. Some people were being short for quite a while. And this is a ruthless participant in the market. It is Roku, Inc., A-shares, streaming devices. Um, there's just a whopper of a story there because so many people are, are going um, away from cable. So they're using the streaming devices, and Roku is one of them. And... Um, it looks very much as if Roku wants to retest in a cup formation. There's a chapter where we've got the falling axe formation right here because it looks like an axe. There's the handle. There's the open blade. It's like, you remember, it's an expanding cone, a declining expanding cone. And here's a cup formation. And the cup formation could have the Chapman wave drop bucket formation. Why drop a bucket? If you ever seen these back hose, you know how they dig down the ground, then they've got the arm that lifts up and it's got the bucket. And when you hit this double top, the bucket opens up, kaplop, everything comes falling down. So that says to me, there's a chance that 
Roku is going to try for the 174 to 178 area before it starts to have a deeper correction. And um, that would make leg D in the monthly chart. And then I'd be a little careful. So when you're looking at this, what you want to be anticipating is that it is, it is a stock that is that has a following, number one. So I used to say, I used to call these stocks sexy stocks. I guess you don't say that anymore, so maybe I'll have to not say that. I didn't say that. What I am saying is it's stock of interest, stock of interest, and um, a lot of people are playing it different ways. But three things. One is, if anyone was in it and was at a loss, because it's showing so many green candles, look at this, from the low that was made on the 7th of November at 116.26, Green, 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 green. Even yesterday's doji, long-legged doji candle on a down day was a green candle from the opening and is a green candle today. <clears throat> so you're out of it. Now, what you might want to do, don't think, oh, my God, how am I ever going to make that money up? And so I took a year that I spent beautifully. You know, one person in particular was saying I was using the Chapman Wave, and I did absolutely, I was doing very well for a few years now. All of a sudden, I'm looking at this thing, and, it, and I've got a loss on the year when everything else was fantastic just because I stuck with it as a short, and I didn't, I didn't get I had every. The reason why we stick with a short position and why the, the expression is you take a short-term trade and it becomes a long-term position. It's just a, a very polite way of saying, Dan, were you dumb? And I can say that because I've done it. I'm sure many of you have done it. You've had positions that killed you. And you then had to come out of it, and it took so much work to, get, to, to, to do well, and then you just wrap it up like that? No, no, no. You always want to have capital. You want capital to be able to do these things. Now, for the same technique that you've used, why don't you just use it short term? It's the same technique. It makes it doesn't know that you're trading um, a 120 minute or a 10 minute chart instead of a weekly or a daily. It's the same patterns. We're not looking at anything else. Look at this. It has a 120 minute chart. Does it have the same notation, Roku? Absolutely. It made a PG slash C. It's making a, a cup formation. It's got, it's running. You remember last night I spoke about 136. That, that's the time uh, frame that I like to see things uh, repair, if especially in, in, a, in a bull move or a bear move. You want speed. So you just have to keep your capital. So you want to use shorter term positions. You want to have smaller positions. And you want to look at the patterns. And in this particular case, it won't make the cup formation, if within another six hours, let's say, of the 120-minute chart, not at least trying for 163, otherwise it's going to stall a little longer. And it could take this and have an arch formation that makes it a dreaded H, and then it could retest the low of yesterday uh, at 11.30, exactly this time, or just about yesterday, at 147.51. So, Use that as an experience to so say, I'm never going to do that again. There's a chance you might do it again, but just you got your thinking must be, no, I will never. I have a stop. Oh, and what I wanted to say is that sometimes you get into the position and then it goes against you. And you say, oh, gee, that, you, you didn't have a stop because of whatever reason, you just didn't have a stop or a buy stop, whatever it is. And now it's just gone against you. So now you think, well, if it comes back a little bit more, that's a, that's a percentage loss I'm prepared to take. The stock looks at you right in the eyes and it says, are you kidding? I'm not giving you that kind of opportunity. You made a mistake. You want to see what happens when you make a mistake and you don't correct it as quickly as possible and it just goes against you and you suddenly see your 3 or 5% loss become a 9% loss. And you say, 9%? Yeah, I can handle 9 I can make up 9%. Um, let me see, okay, uh, and you make up your mind. As you're making up your mind, it, it goes 12% against you. And now you st and then you're stuck, and then you are just trapped. But it's not that. I don't care about that, because even 12%, you can make up if you're a good trader. No. What it does is it uses up, it expends your financial capital, and it uses up your mental capital. 
I am way more worried about mental capital than I am about financial capital, as long as you're solvent. I mean, let's face it, you know, you, you take a big hit, that's bad. So you've got to be thinking in terms of playing a game. Now, Tom O'Brien has always said, as long as I've known him, he's always said, there's always another trade. And as you're trading, you've got to say to yourself, there's another trade. Don't worry, whatever I do now, just remember there's another trade. Because if you lock in on that, I always joke about this, but it's not a joke. It is so, so serious. There's a little elf that's sitting on your shoulder and it's waving its finger and it's saying, every time you want to do something, what are you thinking about? Do you remember that dumb trade that you're still in and it's still costing you money and you can't think correctly? It forces you to think. You're, you're detracted. You can't focus. Don't do it. Get out of bad trades. You'll always make it up if you're thinking clearly. I'll be back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're back. Dow's down 75, SB's down 6. So what we're looking at, a question came in, not NTNX. Could I look at NTNX at $1.63 at 30.32? At it's just about to bump into the daily 200-period exponential moving average. The MACD is just cross positive, not great, but it's cross positive. And the stochastic is rallying very nicely with the on balance volume, but it's only at 65%. I prefer right now, at this particular stage, it should be at least 78 or 82%. The weekly chart has actually gone to a leg D. It's gone above all the resistances on the left into the very ugly bar of, I think that was June. Let me just check. 
is that June? May the 31st. Opens at uh, 33.26, bounces uh, all the way to 34.65. Unfortunately, it closes at $25.50. What a week. Whew. Um, anyway, so it's going into that bar. The MACD and the weekly chart is very strong. Stochastics 91%. I like that. And the monthly chart, this is a leg A, and there are improvements in the technicals. This I like. Now, I'm going to just do something in the notation because a number of you asked me about could do a little bit more in the, in, with notations um, in, the, um, in my show. Uh, I, I usually don't do all that much with actual notations because um, you've got people that are just tuning in, maybe for the first time. Where it can it'd be quite confusing. Now, you see this gap down here, right here, and you see the way we've actually, not we, we're going into it. I, I just saw that now because I've pulled it back. I've already done this chart uh, some time ago. What's really important is that the gap that was made from, I prefer when it's quicker, I, I could show you some examples. I don't know if I have time to do it today. On the 30th of May, um, that's the, that's where it started, that gap down, that big red bar that I was talking about. It was trading at 34.48. The low was 32.51. The next day gaps down, the high is 28.73. So what I love to do is I grab that as a gap filler. And I fill it in, and I just keep dragging this along until my eye says, because now this is, this is not the future, this is the present. I say, where would I get a left side, right side price time match? But if I went right to this candle here, and the specific candles, I only use specific candles. Um, let me take it to that um, gap up to peak C right there. And now let me do this. I'm going to do parallel, new parallel. Change that to green because the other one was really more on the way down. This is on the way up. And I try to put it in over there. And it takes me to roundabout, this is a daily chart, it takes me to the 28th of um, November. Now I can come back and I can say, okay, 28th of November, let me fill it in right here. Where can I put the Chapman wave inside wedge? target resistance line. Well, what I like to do is to go at a specific um, a candle, or in this case, because it's a wedge, the wedge formation, I go to a price point, and that price point says, I'm going to go right here, I'm using this low at trough C, and I'm going all the way to that corner edge there. And that's the corner edge that takes me to the low bar of the gap before the gap down, and that's round about, I'm just guessing right now, 32 in the 3290 area. It doesn't have to be exact because this is using a trend line, green because it's rising, dashed line because it's a very specific one, and the price says, if we can go over the 200 orange 200 period exponential moving average of 30.62, if we can get to 30. 85, 30.97, something in that range, a little bit higher. There's a real good chance that it can make a peak C or even a D up against this trend line, and that takes you towards the 32 level. The reason why, just for the moment, I'm feeling like I want to keep it more as a leg B than a new uh, alternate count E slash B, just continuing that peak D and saying that's the next letter on the high side, is because the MACD is turned up and the stochastic is doing very nicely. On balance, volume is good. I got good technicals. I don't have to fuss and think E, oh my God, it's going to turn around. Let's see where it goes. So I'm going to say to uh, the questioner um, that I'm calling this leg B for now. If it starts to find there's an inside bar tomorrow, I will immediately go to E slash B and say, uh oh, you had your cup formation, that drop bucket, maybe you're going to fail, and I'll give you the exact level. It fails under 28.50. So that's like two points lower, starts to fail. <clears throat> At this particular point, I think the magnetic attraction of the 200 period moving average is going to keep it there, but it's also going to say once it goes above, be careful because it's liable to come back and retest that as support. So this level right here, I'll see exactly $30.62. We can bounce around, and it's a magnet right now, giving it support, which says it's probably not leg E, it's probably a leg B. 
Hope that helps you. And what is my target on this thing? 35.95, the 200 period exponential moving average in the weekly chart doesn't give you time. The uh, very sharp rising daily says, yeah, by the 20, what are you, 29th? That's like what? By early next week. Let me check it out. November 29th. Oh, Friday. Friday a week. Friday a week? Yep, Friday a week. Um, so let's see what happens in the meantime. But but the question is, I know that the person is a more longer term, uh, um, uh, likes to position himself more longer term. Longer term, this is the start. This is Look at that monthly. This is just the start of a move. I wouldn't get too carried away. Yep, it was an IPO back in 2016, around about the 25 level. It went up and then it crumbled down to the 14, 15 area. And then it ran all the way to 65. That's a spectacular move. Fourfold increase. Then it comes all the way back in an arch formation. Now it's finding support. I like the fact that you're treating this as a, a kind of an intermediate term buy and hold. Um, I'm not even going to tell you where to get out. Just let me know if it, if it goes under 27.50 at any point. Uh, then we'll have to reassess. But in the meantime, I think it's doing very nicely. NTNX. 30.46 up dollar 77. The name of it is Nutanix 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 Inc. Inc. Is this a biotech or something? Nutanix. Um, <laughs> could be a rubber. All right. So that's an NTS. So the next thing I had a question was. Okay, let me run some of these. I didn't do them. Uh, XRT. XRT, and of course you got spectacular, spectacular uh, target. Um, they have just gone right up against, as I said before, remember, Target is not a Costco. Target is not a Walmart. It's, it's a very special niche. And I, I even mentioned this a while back. I said, wow, I went into a Target here in Watertown, Massachusetts. They, The lighting is fabulous. They've got, you walk in now, and you, it's really organized, and you go right to the brightest spot, which is home furnishings or something like that but whatever it is kind of leads you there um I, it's a great they they've really done a good job i don't know why i didn't even put it in my newsletter as a, as a long because i loved it so much but then of course you can't do retail by going to one store I and mean, that's anecdotal that just doesn't work but i must say it said that they're thinking they changed a drab place with lighting just not too much but they did it exactly right so xrt has target within it, I believe. Spider s and retail pulling back here. It's down 42 cents to 43.53. We'll talk about it in a moment. We'll also talk about RTH, which is the, the uh, Van Eck retail, which has Amazon. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks. So um, the RTH, which is the Van Egg Retail ETF, um, made a high four days ago, made an all-time high four days ago at 120.98. Let me just type that in because I think it's going to be there for a while, 120.98. And that does have Amazon. Amazon hasn't been doing that well, but it's it's been keeping its head up, I think. Let me just check to see where Amazon is. Um, and here's a, here's a reason I mentioned this last night. Here's a reason why I'm a little cautious on the market right now. Um, look at Amazon. It's, it's way off the 2035.80 last high and certainly way off the 2050.50 high of September uh, here at 1754. Look at Home Depot. Um, whopper of a move down yesterday, follows you on the downside, down four today, 221.80. This is, this is going to be very interesting because I've got only a leg C in the monthly chart. How is it going to correct? It's going to take time to correct and then have a really big move up? Um, I'm looking at this and saying, wait a minute, my cash index, remember the cash index is Sintas? Uh, this is really the, a market barometer. Uh, trades 270.36, then it goes to 277.85 in October, higher high, high all-time high, and then all of a sudden, it takes a dive, and it comes down to the 247 level, and right now it's at 260. So it's correcting, just like um, Amazon is, uh, Home Depot, and Spy is the only one. It went to a new high, all-time high yesterday, leg F, there it is, probably a peak F today. It's just saying to me, be careful here. Um, I don't have any signal to say uh, that they could be um, smashed to the downside. I do have a signal saying we could start to roll over at least for a week or two, take a, a breather. But the way you've gone up in this channel, I didn't get a chance last night. I did speak a little bit about it. Of the subscribers, I will over the weekend. I'll, I hope I remember. Let me make a note right now before I do anything else. So weekend, so weekend up channel i'll just put spy but it's many other things as well so this up channel the, the, from my experience that a pattern like this very often if it extends long enough what it does is unless there is a just a really bad news event it, it takes a breather rather than it crashes it comes down forms an inverted v and then it finds tremendous support somewhere where a gap or a certain cluster formation on the left side that says, yep, the spy could come down uh, to the 311, 305, 304, 303 level maybe. And then there's a chance, based on the weekly charts, that there's still another up move. So this is only B, this is only C in the spy or the S&P. 
in the weekly chart, so we pull back and then we start leg D. That, that's really sharp. And then we take a, a bigger breather in the monthly chart. That's kind of the way I'm looking at the patterns right now. So, and now the question is, how can you make a channel when the low is so low? And I've got a, a rule, I've discussed it before. Um, I'll just mention it here, that in a channel, if I get enough upside resistance points and I can make a very a good case to make a down channel, from the up, uptrend line, I can make a lower uptrend line to make a channel. That channel very often starts after the, the sharp gap down low and the bounce that makes an arch formation and a successful retest. After that, you start your up channel. If I did it here, obviously I would have been way, way through the whole price movement because it would have been so sharp. I wanted to tell me by its own actions What's the best pattern that I can look at? So I'll do a little bit of that over the weekend. Now we're looking at the uh, at um, target, target, target is up 13.90. It's up 12 and a half percent at 124.74 all-time high. A leg B, E slash B. This has to be a B in the in the monthly chart. A leg F, this could be an F in the, because uh, there's a little, a little uh, short covering and hysteria here. So it could, it could make a little consolidation at the top. There's a whole pattern that we do in the Chapman Wave methodology of these big spikes. There's a pattern that I'll talk about um, when it's appropriate. But I'm calling this F for now. And I'm just saying, yep, the technicals are really strong, but it might be a little overdone. Wouldn't be surprised at some point if between 119 and 117 there's a consolidation. Okay, that's it. Great move up, great positioning. They really did right. And, and this is up against Amazon. This is really impressive. However, Kiss makes a peak F top in the Chapman wave, a two bar reversal up in the 59s. And then before you know it, it's in the 47s. It did 46 something today, 4606. That's in, in, in three days, it's gone from 59s to the 46s. Whew. I mean, that's tough stuff. They're not in the right area. They're in the wrong area. Um, so with that said, I don't want to run out of time. So there are a bunch of things I want to answer questions that came in. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. Yep, the, I, I did a lot in that webinar. And it, it, it was about as comprehensive as I could do because obviously I have to mix a little bit with, with newcomers to the, to the opening call newsletter and to people who have been even to webinars of mine for years and years. So uh, I try to mix it up. So the question that came in here, could I look at the XAL? Um, you know, I'm not an XAL fan. It did make a PD top and it's kind of pulling back. I'm always a little nervous about these airlines. You just never know. Look, peak E in American Airlines trading at 28.61. It hits the 31s. Now it's down to the 28s. It's just they struggle. They used to go broke. Now they just keep on a la carte, adding costs to everything you do. Look at the ticket of an airline. You'll be shocked. The actual price uh, could be 65 bucks, and the taxes and everything could make it 300 and something. Oh, maybe not quite that. But, you know, there's fuel charges, just, the tax is everywhere. So, uh, yeah, they're always having a tough time. And I was just looking the other day, 6,400 flights a day. I think it was, I was on a, on a, on a flight to uh, North Carolina. So, so I'm looking at the American Airlines folder and it says 6,400 flights a day. Let me just say that again. It's an airline company. When the plane lands, it has no less than X amount of people that, that participate in luggage, baggage, uh, whatever it is, right? You've got your pilot, your co-pilot, you've got your crew, you've got the food, you've got everything. 6,400 flights a day? What an operation! And it's people. I mean, sure, you've got you've got um, aircraft, very expensive uh, instruments to uh, to 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 negotiate the size, the costs, the repairs. But you've got every day you've got people that you have to pay. 
So I'm always amazed at how it actually works so well. But American Airlines, look at that monthly chart. Once upon a time in the 59 area, trading down the 28s, hit 24s uh, this year. Oh, I have to tell you, and, and it's actually a pretty well-run company. I mean, they were very good, I thought. I didn't like the fact that you have to pay for every little thing that you want. But anyway, that's the airlines. Uh, Dow's down 88. We'll be back in a moment. And a question about the real ones. A question about the uh, XMI. All right, I'll look at the XMI. We'll be back. Dow's a chapter. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Dow's Down 109. We're going to go straight to Mike in Ormond Beach. Mike in Ormond Beach, how are you? Pretty good, Basil. Uh, yesterday, I got into CGC and MJ, the marijuana ETF. Very good. Where would you, where would you think our first level of resistance would be? for CGC, and where would you put a stop? Okay, a couple of things. I mentioned it last night in my webinar. We were looking at these different ETFs, and I said MJ is starting to get very uh, very uh, interesting. It looks like there could be a bounce from here. I I didn't put it in my newsletter today. I, I needed one day at least to see if this was a, a, an engulfing candle of importance. So it's gapped up again. So yesterday's low of 1381 is now trading four points higher at 1793, right up against the 14 period moving average. I'll tell you what I'm going to say. First of all, the same thing with MJ. So I'm going to say CGC. I don't know if I want to give you a, a tight stop or anything right now. I'm just going to say if you're prepared to make the stop, uh, somewhere a little above today's open, which is at, let me just check it out. Today's open is 15.98. Uh, so let's say it's at 1763. 
just on a very short term basis, some part of your entry point, maybe you can make 16.45 uh, a stop. Give it a little room. I think this is the first time that I'm seeing that the technicals are starting to improve enough that there could be a little bit more of a rally before there's a retest. The retest might not be the low of yesterday. So I'm just going to say congratulations. I don't know what gave you that impetus to get in, but you're correct. It's a nice bounce. It is only a bounce right now. The MJ, the bigger, the broader, the ETF is saying it's hit the 90, the, the pink nine period moving average. It's kind of stuck. You want to see this not at 17.32, but at 17.99. At two seventeen dollar stocks, your CGC, I think, is a better percentage gainer potential mm -hmm. than the MJ, which is bogged down by the others. So sticking with the CGC, congratulations. I like it. Um, if it can close, above 1755 preferably makes a new recovery high today by 2 to 215 i like it i think you've got a really nice entry point and you've got a nice cushion congratulations i'll talk a little bit about the game tomorrow but good 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 entry uh, mike thank you thank you for calling so folks okay. basil chapman signing off down now down 171 watch out be careful for a short-term uh, pullback handing you over to steve rose Thanks for being here.